In today's video, I've got you guys some of the most recent new Blender add-ons and updates, ranging from effects, ready assets, animation, and more. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with a stop motion add-on called Stop Mo, which is for the time being a free add-on that can streamline the process of stop motion animation in your 3D projects and make it actually look like stop motion animation. I mean, within a short period of time, you can effortlessly transform your animations into something that looks like legit stop motion. Some of the most important features that the add-on offers include a one-click conversion, which basically helps you to easily convert your already made animations to a stop motion style in just few clicks, magically just like that. And to make it even better, the effect of stop motion is reversible, meaning it's gonna be easily removable. So if you don't like what you see, you can quickly remove the stop motion effect with select and remove. For further adjustments, the add-on allows you to fine tune your stop motion animations with adjustable frame rates and ranges. This means if you want to change the speed of animation, you can do that. So basically you can animate on ones, twos, or fours, depending on what you need at that particular moment of the animation. The add-on also has real-time previews and the ability to animate textures. Now, if you're working on a big project under deadline, or if you're not a big fan of creating 3D assets from scratch, then we have this new add-on that lets you import assets directly from websites such as Polyheaven or Ambient CG, and the add-on is called Asset Browser. It enables you to pick the assets that you want to download, put them in your scene, and the add-on will start downloading them for you automatically in the background. Once finished, it will be immediately imported into your scene and made available for use. And you can import the assets directly from the asset browser, which is very useful. The add-on can be great, especially when importing textures from websites, where it will make you spend less time finding and downloading assets, and that will help you save your time on the creative process, which is the most important part in art. After importing the asset, Asset Bridge allows you to use powerful viewport controls like anti tiling, displacement, and color adjustments directly in the 3D viewport. Another thing is that you can select the asset's quality before downloading them, I mean in the asset browser, or after you have imported them in the M panel. This add on is still new, but it will hopefully get better with the new updates. Talking about updates, we also have an update of a major Blender add-on which is called Zen UV, with the introduction of Zen UV 4.0. This add-on is fantastic because it contains many useful tools that can help you with the process of UV unwrapping inside Blender. For example, it has great transformation tools, stacking system, and many different tools and operators that can help you to make your life much more easier. And with the introduction of the new update, the developers introduced a new compact UI which allows you to use the add-on faster and have a better and easier experience overall. The update also brought with it a trim sheet system to speed up your work with trims. So you can create trim sheets and move, rotate, scale, fit, align, and flip islands inside trims. This is obviously very useful because trim sheets are an amazing asset if you know how to use them correctly and Zen UV makes that easier now. We also have Zen UV transform tool which includes the move, rotate, scale, fit, align, and flip islands in 3D view, and the editor using Zen UV Gizmo. This one, I think it is self-explanatory, and it goes without saying. The add-on also now has new operators, in addition to the bunch that it already has. For example, it now has the display flipped operator to display flipped islands in the UV editor, in addition to the unwrap constraint operator to unwrap islands along a certain axis. And last but not least, the match and stitch operator to match island's position, rotation, scale and stitch vertices if it is possible. Still with more updates, this add-on called Traffic Library has also gotten a new update. So the add-on is a library of vehicles of all sorts and traffic signs in addition to other stuff. It currently contains 42 different car models ranging from luxury to supercars to classic and many more. In addition to cars, it also has 9 bicycles and motorcycles, 15 different utility vehicles and public transports, as well as 
250 different traffic signs and street items, and also 4 watercraft and 6 aircraft vehicles. As for the update and the new features, the traffic add-on has now 14 newly added cars and vehicles that you can enjoy using in your project. There is also a brand new paint material that offers more flexibility regarding coating, metallic flakes and more. Moreover, a new operator to change speed has been added and the UV maps are now fixed. The update also featured some minor changes to the UI which has gotten better and also some bugs and issues that the add-on was suffering from are now fixed such as the bug with the follow path in Blender 3.4 as well as the offsetter wheels of the BMW and Audi. To sum it up, the add-on is extremely useful and it is especially useful when it comes to finding high quality assets of vehicles and street signs as it will help you massively with animating vehicles, also architectural visualization projects, environment design projects and even in VFX scenes. Now, if you want to cover the scenes that you created with the traffic add-on in Fog to make it look cool, then there is a new add-on called Alt-Tab Easy Fog. It basically helps you with the process of adding volumetrics and fog to your scene. Even though this add-on is new, it can be a great solution for volumetric needs inside Blender, as it works great and super fast, which can give you good results. For now, the add-on has 35 presets of fog that you can experiment with, ranging from light fog to heavy fog, as well as colored fog. The add-on also allows you to tweak some settings to get the desired look that you are looking for. You can set the color you want and you can change the value of speed, scale, roughness and also the level of detail that you want. Alt-Tab Easy Fog also enables you to set the distortion value as well as the location, rotation and the scale of the volumetrics. And the way it works is very easy. You just need to simply select the objects that you want to be covered in fog and then select the preset that you like. After that, just press apply fog to the selected object. The add-on is free, but with limited features. So if you want to have access to more features, you need to pay for that. Now, jumping to a different topic with animation, the process of making looping animations in Blender is not the easiest thing and is not the best thing you can do. And there is only one way to do it, by adding a cycles modifier to the graph. However, the solution is not really efficient and it doesn't work really well because it can screw up the animation and it doesn't really make it loop. So Blender artists have been thriving for a solution for this problem, but we haven't gotten any so far, at least a solution that I am aware of. However, I recently discovered this newly created Blender add-on that might be the way to go when making looping animations in Blender. The add-on is called Loopify and it is available to download on Gumroad for free. Loopify's interface is divided into six categories, where each category is responsible for a specific task. For more detailed information, please take a look at the video we created on CG Vortex. Guys, if you are interested in these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. You can also take a look at some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.